Public officials and former prosecutors talk about their safety tonight after three people were arrested in a plot to kidnap a local judge. Thanks for joining us. I'm, I'm Emily Gosulo. WCBI's Tom Ebel joins us now live in the studio with more on what they do to stay safe. Tom? Emily, public officials, whether in the courtroom or the office, all have familiar faces. In a job that requires many tough decisions, not everyone they meet is going to be happy with the outcome, making it important for them to be prepared. True story. I mean, I've lifted weights with some of the guys I prosecute. And um, you'd be laying on the bench waiting on them to, to put 300-something pounds on top of you, and you're thinking, am I really going to let this guy do this? And the answer is, yeah, you are. And, you know, it, I always tried even though we were at odds, to treat everybody like human beings. Former District 16 District Attorney Forrest Allgood made many tough decisions on the job. Many of those decisions left people unhappy. Allgood says his personal safety was always on his mind. It is a situation where the Second Amendment is a good thing. And candidly, there are a lot of times when I was in grocery stores and what have you that I was armed. He also says many changes have come to the courthouse since the beginning of his career. When I started, anybody and his brother could come walking in here at any time and pretty much go anywhere. But you can't do that anymore. Lowndes County public officials say they've made changes to maintain safety, especially when it comes to weapons in the courthouse. We feel like that if a person has a weapon, uh, that the you know if something bad happens to them or their family, that they might not think rationally. And our bailiffs cannot be put on the spot of knowing who's going to act within, you know, certain rational, uh, uh, rational basis or not. No matter how long they're in office, officials know they always must be mindful of their safety. Well, that's what you have to fight is the complacency of, well, nothing's happened to me in 10 years, so you just kind of forget about being vigilant. But you've always got to remember that, you know, if something's going to happen to you, you may not, uh, you may not by, by being not vigilant, you may pay up the ultimate prize. Allgood says although he had some tense moments on the job, he also had many positive encounters with people who were grateful for his service. Emily? All right, thanks, Tom. The man accused